Or, uh, look at this one. Spotting some of our first vicuña. You guys want some coca? We're Alex and Lindsay, two travelers who were exploring South America when suddenly a strict lockdown began, leaving us stuck abroad. We've been here for months, and even though lockdown is lifted, things in Peru are far from normal. We're documenting our experiences here and sharing them with you. Good morning guys from Pisac, Peru. Today we're going on a hike. And from what we've seen, it looks like one of the most amazing hikes in Pisac, or even in Peru. So we have a special treat for you guys today. We are going to Quinta Cocha, which is about a 45 minute drive from Pisac, the perfect day trip. And we're visiting these beautiful lakes in the hills. And we've seen some pictures and we're super excited to show you guys. It looks incredible. And apparently there's a lot of wildlife like alpaca, llamas, which we always love. So we're going to grab some coffee super quick. We're getting picked up at 10 by our driver and then we'll show you it. So Lindsay was taking too long to get ready. No. <laughs> so we're a little late. We have, we're going to have half an hour by the time we get to the restaurant to find the restaurant, get in order our food after finding out what we want, having them cook it for us, then eating it, then paying, then leaving the restaurant. And this is a full day trip, so we need food before. So that's yeah. why we're starting to run now and we look really stupid. <laughs> All right, we found a cool little cafe restaurant called El Encanto. And we're gonna get some food to go because they're not quite open yet, but they're nice enough to make food uh, half an hour before they're open. Wow. Look at this, chicken tacos and fries and a chicken avocado sandwich and fries. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Hola. We made it only about 10 minutes late, fashionably late. Um, we stopped at the market, got some snacks as well for the road, and we have this whole van to ourselves. It's huge. So for this whole day trip, round trip for two people, you could have more than that, but we don't have anyone else with us. It was 120 soles, which is about $35 US. Pretty good. That's pretty dang good. Amazing. They're they're in the middle of nowhere, just three little kids, very little, and they're wearing traditional Peruvian clothing. And our driver stopped and handed them bread outside the window and they looked so excited. <laughs> that was really cool. I guess that's what you do around here. You give bread to children <laughs> on the sides of the roads. So that's the second time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it didn't stop at the bread. <laughs> Lindsay just gave a uh, mandarin, a tangerine, to that lady. She looked really happy about it. These things are amazing. They're so juicy and sweet and right here. Ten soles to enter. Gracias. What is not very important? All right, 
we're about <sighs> to start our trek up the hill. We're starting here at the base that has a lake called Laguna Azul. And then we're gonna climb up to the top and there should be a smaller lake. And then there's another lake that we really wanna go to, Quincicocha, which we just saw the beginnings of. And we're gonna try to get to that as well. It's just a few mile drive from here. So we're gonna do this hike first and then the driver is gonna take us to the base of Quincicocha and we'll do that hike. So first, is Laguna Azul and it looks like people kind of live right here and they raise trout. So guys we've been on a walk for about 10 minutes. Look how beautiful it is up here. This is the second lagoon. So when you're starting off at the base, there is this lagoon or lake and it is this really pretty green color and it's way below all of these hills. And luckily the hike seems like it'll be very easy. I think like anyone could do this. It's very flat. It's and beautiful. And you get beautiful views without any hiking really. It's like you're in another world. It's weird how close this is to the town of Pisac. <sighs> we spoke too soon. It's flat for the first 15 minutes, but then it is <laughs> pretty vertical and tough to get up here. It is incredibly steep on the second half, but it's worth it. You get this view of the lake. You're way above it, so you can see the entirety of it. It's massive. So this here is the best viewpoint we've gotten so far. As you can see, we're way above the, the first or second lake. And it's beautiful. But it looks like you can get way up further uh, to get to the summit. And we'll see if we can do that. We're about halfway up, so we still have a ways to go. But I think it'll be worth it. We're hoping that once we get to the summit, then we'll see either a lake on the other side or an amazing view of the mountain range around Pisac and hopefully some llamas, alpacas, yeah. some wildlife. We haven't really seen any yet, so we heard that this is a good place to see them, probably at the top, so let's go. All right, so as you guys can see, we're surrounded by this yellow grass. We're not sure if it's always yellow because of the type of grass it is, or if it's because it's dry season, but maybe it's this color. Maybe when it's wet season, the grass changes to more of a green. All right, guys, we're taking a much needed water and coca break. We're gonna chew some of this because of the elevation and it gives you energy, coca. So we're gonna be doing a lot more travel videos like this. If you like this video and you wanna see more, make sure you click that subscribe button. Because not only are we gonna be here in Peru, but we're going all over the world and we're sharing it all with you. Also, please leave a comment below. We love hearing what you guys have to say. And like this video, it helps us out a lot. Look at this one. <sighs> this lake is Stunning. super just peaceful and tranquil. No one else is around. <sighs> Look at that. It's not that big of a lake, but it's so nice. The color, it's a good size of lake to hang out by, by yourselves. If we had all the time in the world, we would hang out here for hours having wine and a picnic, but- Skinny dipping. We still have, a, yeah, I bet the water's super cold. <sighs> But we have more to see, so we better get going. <laughs> let's show you the next one. All right, let's see how cold the water is. Woo! Yeah, I don't think I'd want to be bathing in here. 
Is it muy frío? Yes. <laughs> it feels like ice water. <sighs> this is amazing up here. Look at these rocks jutting out of the ground. Puma cocha is the small one. Azul cocha is this big one that has little uh, squares of trout catchers. <laughs> and now we're going to... Now we're heading to... So finally, we've made it back to Kinsikocha. So we are at the base of this, and this is actually a huge lake. We found out if you walk this for about an hour, you're gonna get to a second lake. And this is supposed to be epic. This is supposed to be the best part, so look forward to the end of this video. Look at that, guys. Looks like a little rock island. I wonder if we can get out there. Look, it has a little gazebo or bungalow or something on it. Nobody's there. So far, this is a much more enjoyable hike. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more flat, and wherever you go, you get the view of the lake. Also, the trail is just really well maintained compared to the other one that was more off the beaten path. Yeah, so if you want an easier trek and you still want to see some of these lakes around Pisac, we recommend you go with the Kinsakocha route first. So look, this is the first lake, we just went around this way, and then there's a little inlet here, and then another lake here. Beautiful. Not sure if you can tell on camera how far that is. Very far. Okay, so it took us about 45 minutes to get to this spot with the alpaca and the second lake. So to get back, it'll take around the same amount of time, so about an hour and a half. And if you want to stay and enjoy yourself, add an extra hour, but you can kind of go at your own pace. It doesn't take that long to get this awesome view. And the hike was super easy. And if you want to do all the lakes, all three or four of them, you'll have to give yourself all day, especially if you want to take your time, sit by the lake, have some food. We've been rushing it today and it's maybe taking five hours to do all of it. And look, there are a bunch of these little uh, streams in this marshland, and you have to jump over them. Ready? So look guys, spotting some of our first vicuna, vicuna, which are basically in the alpaca or llama family, but they look a little skinnier, a little different in the face. Uh, this is Look at this, we came here for the animals. Peru is amazing.
look at the colors of this landscape. Out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, now we're on our trek back. That was awesome. And now we're gonna show you the other side of the lake, which we saw from the other side before. So, we already know what it's gonna be like. Look at that peak there. That's awesome. Ready? Yeah. All right, guys, we decided to go on a boat ride. It is 30 soles, which is about $9 for both of us for an hour. So this will be pretty awesome. We'll talk to you more on the boat. All right, and we're off. This is relaxing. We're not that far into it, but it's been nice so far. <laughs> the scenery will come later, but we already showed you basically uh, what we're about to do on the boat. So we just wanted to show you every option that you have uh, when you're up here. You can do one of the lakes, two of the lakes, four of the lakes. You can do a boat. It's good. This guy's working hard. He needs some coca leaves. Yeah. Quieres coca? Si, gracias. Si? This will help. Ayuda. Gracias. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Gracias. Okay. So, Cookie. De nada. Tu quieres? Si. You guys want some coca? Alright, Lindsay's gonna have a little coca as well. We're all having coca. It's part of the culture. <laughs> but we noticed they take a lot more for them out than we're used to. We usually take like a couple leaves. I think we have to take a big ball and put it in there. Last time when I took too many, I gagged. So now I need to be careful. <laughs> That's a cool dude right there. All right, we just finished with our boat ride. It was very enjoyable. And now we're gonna go home and watch a sunset from our patio. Adios. <laughs> It's a good size of lake. Yeah. <laughs> to hang out by. But to, to hang out by. Oh, look at this, you guys. <laughs> wow. We out here. <laughs> so if you guys like boat rides, this is an option. If you do the quinta, what's it called again? Quinta Cosa. If you do the Quinta Cosa trek, you can do... Hey guys, we can only do so much on YouTube and we only put out a video every two or three days. So if you want more, if you want daily stuff, you should head to Instagram. Find us at Alexander Travel Bum. And that's where you'll find daily stories and photos about our travels. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.